Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can get all your hockey needs, skates, sticks, all right. pucks, goals, oh. goal, goalie gear. You can get all your You can get gear. hockey nets. You can get goals. Yeah, you can. Like the whole thing, the frame and everything. It's a paradise for hockey fans, because you get like old jerseys. You can get the only current jerseys I saw were like the current uh, Predator ones. And the current Wild ones. Yeah. Well, not really current Wild ones. The yeah, they Reebok were Adidas. Era. They were Adidas. No, I saw a Reebok. No, they no, were No, I saw a Reebok. They were Adidas. No, I saw a Reebok, though. Yeah. On the rack you were looking at, I saw the Reebok one. Oh, well, they must have been in the back, but there, well, there were a the couple back, of Adidas they, ones. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of stuff that's very useful. You can visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com or call them. At four one four eight zero zero seven five eight five. But enough with that. Did you say you visit the store at their address? Yes, I did. I'm gonna make sure. I'm Daniel Goodman, and this is Christopher Draves. Yo. Um. So today, <coughs> first, let's get into the. I just shake my head. That that was pathetic. Let's get into one thing first. Whoa! You're gonna bury the team right away. Okay. Nope. There's oh, trade. I, thought gonna, I thought you were going to read down your crap list. Because, you know, you have a pretty long crap list tonight. Uh, there was a trade today between the Nashville Predators and the Montreal Canadiens. Oh, yeah. I wanted to forget about that because I actually like the guy that we traded away. I'm um, trying to find it, but, you know, it's not always the easiest to find things on Google. Because especially well, half of the trade involved uh, the Predators sending Laurent Dauphin, a uh, Milwaukee Admiral player, to the Montreal Canadiens, and they're probably going to send him down to where the Rockets. Yeah, they already did. Yeah. So yeah, Laurent Dauphin is no longer in the system. But uh, he's looking up the guy that we got returned for. Why don't you just go to TSN transaction? Uh, they don't have the other side for whatever reason. They only have Montreal side. Who'd they send to us? Or is, do they only have a list of who came to Montreal? Um, like I said, I'm working on it. It's uh, Michael McCarron. Uh, now it's trying to, NHL's trying to make me vote. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can't do it this way. You know, because the AHL is much nicer. Oh, looky there. AHL actually knows what they're doing. Don't bury the lead. You yelled at me when I was talking smack about the NHL. So you don't talk smack about the NHL. I'm talking smack about news reporters not reporting news and compared to talking about... All right, anyways, breathe. All right, so the Priors have traded away Laurent Dauphin and acquired Michael McCarron. Uh, McCarron is 24 years old, recorded five goals and nine assists for 14 points in 29 games with the Laval Rockets so far this year, his fifth year pro. Did we play him by chance this year? Twice. Okay. Um, he is he's the big dude. The six foot six, two thirty guy. Oh, um, that giant guy? Yeah. Hey, we got the giant. Cool. Yes. Nah, uh, he wasn't that bad against us, because then we play uh uh Laval twice already. Alright, well, in his last four games or his last four was let's see. Do, 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 do. Laurent Dauphin was uh, traded to us via Phoenix. Um, let's see. Let's see what I can find on him because it's kind of hard. And it all depends on if he's being set here or what the plan is. Let's go there. Yeah, nobody knows. <laughs> All right, so Michael McCarron, apparently he's still on Laval's team. Whatever reason. Uh, he is uh, six foot six, 231 pounds. He's played in 29 games, has five points, or five goals, nine assists, 14 points, 50 penalty minutes. He's a defenseman, correct? He is a center. Yes. 
In his last 10, he has a goal in one, two, three, four, six assists. In one game, he had 15 penalty minutes. Oofka. But that's all I got on that. Nah. Oh, okay. Because I was actually trying to help you in this search of uh, stats for him. I got it. So, yeah, that's what he's done. Don't know where he's going to end up. Don't know what's going on. I mean, for all we know, uh, they could trade him. So, let's get into this game. Hey, if they were to trade him after we gave up the fan, what's their plan? Nobody knows. Do you have an opinion or no? No, I haven't seen enough of him. I don't have an opinion of the coach tonight because I haven't seen... I mean, they looked like they were playing under Laviolette system. All I know is that the new coach looked irritated. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? He's like, oh, crap. I got one of these projects to deal with. All right, well, joking aside, uh, I had a feeling this was going to happen, but the Bruins went 6-2. to two. Ouch. Uh, but in solace of this, we can be glad we did not play Tampa Bay tonight. Carter Bernhagen had a hat trick for them, and they scored nine goals against Vancouver. But we're talking against Vancouver, though. I'm just saying, Vancouver ain't that great. Vancouver's you see better. the standings all the time. Vancouver ain't that great. All right, anyway, shots on goal were uh, 36. They're higher than deposit. us in the standings. What? They're up ahead of us in the standings. A lot of people are ahead of us in the standings. Minnesota's ahead of us in the standings. All right, anyways, face-off percentage, which is uh, 56% for the Bruins, 44 for the Predators. Uh, power played, uh, Nashville was 2 for 6, uh, Boston was 1 for 3. Penalty minutes, Bruins were, had 19, Predators had 13. Hits, Predators uh, 15, uh, Bruins 8, uh, Blocks were Bruins 15, Predators 6. Predators had 7 giveaways, and the Bruins had 3. All right, so scoring. And thank you for making your computer large enough for me to read. <laughs> Basically, null and voided the whole purpose of me having a laptop here. Um, so scoring in the first was David Pasternak. He had that was his thirty-second of the year. Yeah, was an assist from Ma uh, Charlie McAvoy, his fourteenth, and Grizzlick his tenth. Then Dalton Heinen scored his seventh on the power play. Uh, with what's his, his name? Dal Danton Heinen. Danton Heinen mm -hmm. uh, with uh, his seventh, with an assist from Grizzly, his 11th, and Charlie Coyle, his 14th. That was shorthanded. Then Philip Forsberg scored on the power play with his 15th of the year, with an assist from Duchesne, his 20th, and Yossi, his 31st. Therefore, making Yossi's point streak now to 11. Well, at least we know our captain's playing good. All right, then. We had Patrice Bergeron scoring his 18th. Ah. What? Patrice Bergeron scoring his 18th with an assist from Debrusque, his 10th, and Marchand, his 41st. Yeah, Marchand, I'm telling you. Definitely. Then Car Chris Wagner scored his 4th with an assist from Lindholm, his 1st, and Krug, his 24th. That was shorthanded. Ouch. Then... Uh, Mikel Granlin scored his 7th with an assist from Ekholm, his 19th, and Forsberg, his 15th. That was on the power play. Then David Krejci scored his 9th with an assist from Rask. That was shorthanded. Then Charlie Sco Coyle scored his 8th with an assist from R uh, Richie and Heinen. Uh, that Richie's 4th, Heinen's 10th. That was shorthanded. And that was all of it. Now Ripple. You know you want to. All right, on my list tonight, I'm going with the minus two or more. Yikes. Kyle Turris, Kelly Uncrock, Yakov Trenin. Austin Watson, Matt Duchesne. Uh, Matias Ekholm. Uh, Jared Tenardi. Matt Irwin. 
With Yossi, he had a negative two. Yep, and Roman Yossi, negative two. Pekka Rene stopped 30 at 35. I can't see because, you know. Yeah, Pekka stopped 30 at 35. Uh, Who the other team, or do you want to get the other arm seeing how you're having some issues right now? All right. Tucker Rask, you stopped 33 of 35. Why, your computer's all? It froze. Well, there, I just, I, I, I got this and you. All right, there we go. Tukaras stopped 30 of 35 with a .943 save percentage. And Pecorine stopped 30 of 35 with a .857 save percentage. Referees were Tom Chalinski and Chris Lee. Uh, linesmen were Andrew Smith and Trent Core. Uh, head coach for Boston is Bruce Cassidy. Head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Um, but scratches for Boston were uh, Joachim Nordstrom, David Backus, and Stephen Camper. Scratches for Nashville were uh, Colin Blackwell, Alexander Carrier, and Dante Sappho. If you're not going to play Carrier, please send him back. Yeah. I have a feeling, however, Tenorti will be back tomorrow after the way he played tonight. So, on to the standings of the NHL. The Predators now still currently sit in fifth place in the wild card, which means they're four places out of last. Yeah. Um, so, they're right in the middle of the pack. Now, were we in the east, <laughs> we'd be in, like, fifth. We'd be in fifth. So, we're not doing any worse or any better than anybody else in the league in our position. Yeah. So, it's just one of those, this is going to be one of those years where I think the Preds just need to retool and start over. Not completely, I'm not talking about tanking and rebuilding. I'm talking about when you play, and you can have a winning record, okay? You have a winning record, wins, losses, because overtime is only a half a loss, according to the record sheet. When it comes to points, it's only a half a loss. Um, when you look at it, the Predators could finish with a winning record and still miss the playoffs. Here's the thing. Vancouver could finish, right? The season ends right now. Vancouver has 23, 16, and 4 and missed the playoffs. So I'm just saying, you could have a winning record and miss the playoffs. Sure. It's just, it, it, sometimes, some years, it's just not your year to make it. Yeah, you can't make the playoffs ever, Tom. I mean, the fans want it, and the and, and the team wants it, but you can't. You have to get those reality smacks in the face to get what you want. Well, this is basically one of those uh, games for our new head coach to look at what he has. So wait till the next one and see if he can implement anything by the time they play again. And 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 here's the thing I'm gonna say, and and, and this may be more directed towards the coach, but. Baby steps. Baby steps. Because if you try to jump and just cram it down these guys' throats, they ain't going to listen to you. I'm sorry. You're a new guy to the locker room. They're not going to listen to you. So baby He's steps. He's not a new coach, though. I think he knows how I, to I know, I know. situation. I know. I would I'm, assume so. I, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you take baby steps to changing how you're doing things. Uh, you know, you don't just change everything all at once. That's where you end up like where we are now. Because Laviolette changed up all the lineups every night, and nobody had chemistry except for that third line. So. Yeah. The uh, only thing that the only thing good that I could see that Laviolette was doing was uh, rotating who starts between Sarles and Pekka, because that way he tries to keep both guys fresh, and then he would also ride the hot hand on occasion too. Yep. Yeah. Because that benefit of both guys because they got much need of rest. I'm not even worried about the AHL standings currently. <laughs> I'll only worry if uh, losing Dauphin and some other moves happen that kind of alter our team. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All so right. up next we have the Grand Rapids Griffins. Yep. The Admirals this year are 4-2 uh, and two against them. 
Um, yeah. In the previous seasons, last season we were four, four, zero, and two against them. Um, in the last five seasons, we are nineteen, twenty-three, two, and two. Uh, um, our leading scores as the Admirals so far this year are Cole Schneider with 30 points, Daniel Carr with 27 points, uh, Ron Pitlick with 21 points, Matt Donovan with 19 points, and Tommy Novak with 18 points. In the last five games, Grand Rapids is 2-3. and three. The Admirals are 2-3. and three. Yeah. Well, we, when we only lost the regulation, what? Once. Yes. So. All right. Anyways, uh, tomorrow night, UW Panther Arena, 7 p.m. Central Puck Drop. Uh, we got Chris Terry of the Griffins, uh, 35 games played, 13 goals, 21 assists. Uh, Matt Pumple, 26 games played, 12 goals, 13 assists. Then we got Matthew Ford, 31 games played, 6 goals, 11 assists. Joe Hicketts, 28 games played, one goal, 15 assists. And then uh, Dominic Turgeon, uh, he has 37 games played, six goals, eight assists. Uh, Chris Terry's a minus 11, Matt Pumple's a minus 10, Matthew Ford's a minus 9. Ah, you changed it. What? Go for it. I was reading off your screen. Go for it. Uh, Joe Hicketts is a minus 4, uh, Philip Zadina, who's another one of their young players, He's a minus 9, and Evgeny Shvechnikov is a minus 10. So this team does not have many players in the plus category. Yeah. Uh, the last time these two teams met was uh, December 28th. Grand Rapids won 3-2 in regulation. Uh, that's all I really got for the Griffins. Um, besides, there's where are the Griffins currently? They're in last still, right? Or are they like... Kind of floundering around with uh, San Antonio. Uh, give me a second. They are in last place with 14, 19, 2, and 2. Ooh, so. In their they're... last 10, they are 3, 6, and 1. All right, well. And currently they are riding uh, 0 and 2 streak. All right, well, in theory we should beat them, but we'll see. Because uh, you never know All what right, the, so you never know what the day is going to bring tomorrow because there could be more moves coming. Who knows? All right. So, we'll be at that game tomorrow. So so Calvin Pickard is back. All right. Um, and they kept Philip Larson. So those are the goalies I'm going to talk about. Unless Poulin is still there. Let's see. A... Yes, he is. So, they're running three goalies now? Okay. Uh, unless Larson's hurt, which would make sense. Um, uh, Kevin Pullen, three, uh, what is that? One game played, three goals against. So, he has a 3.04 goals against average with one loss and a save percentage of .885. Uh, then you have Calvin Pickard. Who has 21 games played, uh, 66 goals against, one shutout, with a 3.13 goals against average, 10 wins, 8 losses, 3 overtime losses, and a 500 of uh, .500 save percentage in the shootout. Uh, Kevin po uh, Philip Larson for the latter part of that, he has played in seven games, 26 goals against, a 4.01 goals against average, two wins, five losses. No shutouts. So that's all I have on Grand Rapids. Yeah, there's really not much oh, to say about Grand um, Rapids. Let's see. Is there anybody on this list that you talked about that got called up? Uh, Brian Lashoff. Didn't even talk about him. Giovanni Smith. Nope. I only did their top five. All right. Yeah, uh, see, I only did their top five. And none of those guys are on the list I wrote off. All right, yeah, so there's nothing left. Uh, Brian Lashoff got called up. Uh, Zadina got called up. Um, Giovanni Smith got called up, so we don't got to deal with him. Good. Yeah. Um, so that'll be uh, going forward. We'll see what we got. Um, 
This has been from Milwaukee. Giovanni, Giovanni Smith didn't really do much for him anyways. He only had four goals and nine assists this year. With uh, 59 penalty minutes and a minus five. And yet he gets called up. Maybe uh, that's what you need to do. Be a goon and you get called up. All right. So this has, been, for this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. 2002, West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Get all your hockey needs. Give them a call at 414-800-7585 or visit HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. And check out our other videos. Uh, check, go over to YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Um, check out our YouTube page. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, if tomorrow. you go to Hockey Lock, you should spend a boatload of money because of your uh, CCM deal. Yep, the CCM deal. So if you spend 100 bucks, you get two free Admirals tickets. Spend 200 bucks, you get uh, four free Admirals tickets. And you spend 500 bucks, you get eight free Admirals tickets. Yeah, but and it has to be all on CCM hockey equipment. Yep. So Just throwing it out.